Hello, beautiful friends. It's Crystal Rose Insights here to do a check in on the energies, the collective energies for the divine masculine. First off, I just, I, I always want to start every video just acknowledging each and every one of you that's here on this channel, watching my videos, um, subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing, and those of you that reach out to me for private readings, for guidance sessions, and even healing sessions. Um, each and every one of you holds a space on this channel for something really beautiful, and I just want to acknowledge you for for the space that you hold for empowerment and inspiration here on this channel. And if it's the first time that you're seeing any of my readings, welcome. I'm so glad that you stumbled upon me somehow here. Um, so this is going to be a general reading for the collective divine masculine energy. Now there have been so many things happening and so many things going on. There's a massive acceleration of the energies and we're also getting, um, I'm getting a lot of different messages based on different waves of twin flames. Now I'm probably going to try to do, um, another reading on what those, that means, but, um, there's just collectively, there's a lot of twins coming into the, into union at this time and for the next few months. And then there's going to be another bunch, another like collective bunch that's going to come together likely sometime around the fall. And then another bunch kind of early next spring. Now, what that means is that this is just, of course, at law of averages and things like that. But, you know, you can come into union at any time and, uh, timelines can accelerate really quickly. So with that, um, kind of going into my channel already, but <laughs> trying to pull it back. Spirit wants to say a lot right now. Um, okay. Uh, quick housekeeping announcements before I get started. Um, yes. Yeah, so this month, uh, for May, if you order a 60 minute reading with me in May or a guidance session or healing session, you're going to be entered in to a raffle to win this deck of cards, this Angel Tarot cards. You guys know I use this deck a lot and I love it. And I wanted to do something fun this month to where I know a lot of you guys are starting to really tap into this or continue to tap into this in your own lives in terms of the ability to use cards to help communicate with the divine and communicate with the universe. So um, anybody that does one of those readings that lives in the United States, I apologize to all of my international clients. I love you guys so much. Um, if you happen to be somebody that does a reading and then you win, um, I'm going to do something something else for you. Probably some sort of a private reading for free for you um, instead of sending the cards. But um, just the shipping costs are crazy going internationally. And so with that, what else do I want to say? So I've already connected into my guides, my channel. Um, I've also called in my divine team, archangels, higher selves, uh, uh, ascended masters, my divine team. That's a, a very, very high vibration to really just disseminate the messages for all of you. Now, this is a stone that wanted to be here today for the divine masculine reading, which is a blue topaz. And again, I'm, I apologize, I had kind of more announcements than I usually do before I start my readings today. But uh, Blue Topaz is a beautiful stone for manifestation, for joy, for communication and abundance. Um, it's a beautiful stone energy for that. And it's, um, uh, many of the ones that you can buy are actually um, adulterated and altered. So when you do buy a blue topaz, it is important that you get one that is a natural blue topaz and not one that's been altered. To try to look like blue topaz because the vibration is different. So if you want to look up the metaphysical properties of blue topaz, um, there might be some additional messages in there for you. So let's take a look at the collective divine masculine reading right now. And I don't know if I'm going to tune into first waiver, second waivers, third waivers. Um, cause it, Ooh, hello. All right, this is first waivers right here. These are <laughs> just telling me. Uh, we're going to talk about these guys today. So these are people that literally are either currently coming into union or about to come into union where it's literally just any day now. So those of you that are sort of on the first wave, because this is the four of fire, which this is the marriage card. This is about abundance, stability, twin flames. It's the 1111. This is happy family, happy home life. Um, so this is those of you that are about to come into union, although there is a message coming through for those of you that are not quite on the, on the edge of this, but are on this journey that look at where it's going to end up. Okay. The, 
the journey is with its ups and its downs. It is worth it. So let's see what else is going to come through. I'm going to put that card back in the deck. So as this is a general reading, take what resonates for you and, to, and do leave the rest. There's a lot of you watching. It is my intention that everyone watching my videos, no matter how they got here, when they got here, or whether they even know what this is all about, that they're going to get an important message specific for them because that's how spirit works. So let's see what's going on with Divine Masculine right now. Collective. And to get the get the best information, it will be to do a private reading, of course. So his overall energy is the chariot. What he wants you to know is this two of earth. Wow. And then the two of fire. Well, how he feels about you is the knight of air. How he's feeling about the relationship with you is the ten of earth. What is supporting him is the two of water. And what he's being challenged with is the moon. He is chicken. That is just how it comes out. He is, he's chicken to actually make the move. He's been trying to make the move, thinking about making the move, how it's all going to happen, and he's freaking chicken. Okay. And at the bottom of the deck, we get the eight of air. So this is about, like, his fears are keeping him trapped right now. There's a lack of self-confidence. He's afraid to take action. Isn't that what just came out? I didn't even see the bottom of the deck. But he is afraid. He is just... It's like he knows that he, he finally has gone through all this transformation and he knows what he wants and he is chicken. And that's fine because that happens. But then here is this night of water. He's wanting to make his F offer of love to you and here are his fears coming in. But at the end of the day, look what's going to happen. He's going to take that leap of faith, guys. This is important. Spirit's wanting you all to know this. Those of you that have been on this journey, the ups and downs and in this path, look at He's going to make his, he's going to eventually make his offer of love to you once he faces his fears and then once he faces his fears and he decides like because he already knows he wants to make this move but his fears are coming up he's he's just afraid of you seeing him, who he truly is and he doesn't want to act like he's afraid but he is and he's trying to be all macho and cool okay he is going to take this leap of faith okay so this is beautiful all right sorry the messages are coming in so fast i can't even talk fast enough um his overall energy is the chariot. This is wanting to move things forward. This is an achievement. He's feeling accomplished. He feels like he finally has gone through all his crap and understood what he's been going through, why he's been feeling these things, why he has been through the ringer and trying to figure this out. He knows he wants to move forward in victory. He knows he's moving towards ascension. This is also about, like, he's trying to exhibit some willpower. So it's like he's doing this back and forth dance, this energy of, I want to do it, but I'm not going to do it. I want to do it, I can't do it. Oh, like, it's like he's kind of back and forth. So this is about willpower and trying to, like, contain his fears. And <laughs> this is what his higher self wants you to know, is he's juggling. He's totally going back and forth between, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it. Oh, now I'm scared. Yes, I'm going to move forward. Oh, now I'm kind of freaked out. Like, he's doing the juggling act. This is about needing to just kind of get out of his head and just like relax a little bit. This is all good. It's beautiful. It's fine. And get out of your headspace. But it is this energy of vacillating in the physical plane. And what's underneath it is the two of fire is about partnerships moving forward, passionate partnerships. <sighs> Excuse me. Um, I guess that's, ooh. Passionate partnerships moving forward. So he's trying to, he's vacillating. He's going, again, it's all so consistent. I love the way spirit works. So he is, there is this passionate partnership that is going to continue moving forward because you've had a beginning and now it's time to kind of go to the next place. Like, okay, we've had a beginning. We've separated. We're in this place where we're not sure what's happening. We've gone through our growth and now we're ready to continue the journey. We've gone from the one to the two and the two is now going to progress through the path. So what he's feeling about you right now is this night of air is he's reviewing his options. He's trying to decide he's going back and forth. He knows that if things move forward, it's going to move forward kind of quickly. And so he's trying to find some way to approach you. He's trying to figure out a way to approach you. And look, what's funny is he's looking, he's looking up with his sort of truth and clarity. He's looking up to the heavens because he ultimately knows that this is beyond him. This is beyond you two. And this is just, it's like, Please, Lord, help me with this process because I have no, I have no option but to move forward in my truth, and I don't know what the hell I'm doing. And how he's feeling about relationship with you is a ton of earth. This is about happy family life in the physical plane. He's, he's deciding in his headspace, it like in the physical, in the physical world, 
how to do this. He's trying to figure out how to take the action in the three dimension. In the fifth dimension and higher, he knows. He knows this and he feels it at a visceral level. And I love that he's seeing the relationship as the Ten of Earth, which is just grounding this like this higher plane of love and this connection into the physical. And what's supporting him is the Two of Water. Right? The Two of Water, the soulmate card, the love card, the relationship growing closer. This is about a positive resolution to a conflict because the conflict he's feeling about juggling and being afraid and the spirit's saying it's okay. I mean, look at how many twos we have here. One, two, three twos. Yeah. So we've got three twos coming through. So partnership. And what he's challenged with is his fears. It's the moon. Of course he's challenged with this. This is about um, all the fears that hold you back, and he is struggling with this. That's why he's doing this vacillating back and forth. Those of you that know the traditional tarot, the Two of Cups is the juggling energy, the energy of like, I'm going to see if I can find it here real quick in my other deck, but if you just Google the Two of, two of Swords in Rider Waite Tarot, you'll see the card I'm talking about. This man's juggling. It's like twin flame symbol trying to figure it out just trying to make a decision Woohoo! okay i'm gonna get another energy card here for him let's get another message about the divine the, the divine masculines that this is resonating for Pull one card and what else we need to know about his energy right now and again this isn't going to be and here's the deal even if you are not in this imminent phase pay attention because when you are in the imminent phase, the energies are going to be very, very similar. Okay. This is, this is what I'm finding in my, in my readings with my clients, with these, um, the energies I'm reading through my channelings. It's like, even if you're not at this imminent phase yet, pay attention because when you are in the imminent phase, similar themes are going to come up for you. Okay. So you're going to be for, to be forewarned is to be forearmed. You're going to understand it and you're going to even just, it's going to, because remember the people that are coming into union now are going to make you guys that are at later times come into union faster. It's just the way it works. Okay. They're going to raise the vibration and it's going to be like a domino effect, like boom, 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 boom. More people are going to come into union. So if you are not one of these, it's imminent right now. Divine timing is at play. They just got me to be quiet. Because I was like, it was coming through and they just wanted to say, yep, divine timing is happening. So in divine timing, you're going to be in the similar energy, even if you're not in it right now. Okay. All right. Let's see. I'm going to pull some romance cards real quick. Tell me how he is feeling about his divine feminine. What message do you have about these divine masculines, the collective divine masculine, how they're feeling about towards their divine feminine? Or what's what, what are the messages about how they're feeling? And we're getting, they want to make the effort. They want to go and do this on their own. And there's definite chemistry here. There's definitely a strong magnetic attraction. They're feeling it. They know it. This is why they have put up with all this stuff, all this mental gymnastics, all of these things. But it is about disconnecting from the world. This is about taking a little bit of a pause right now because this is the once once game is on, game is on. There's no going back. You're moving into the next phase of your lives. And right now he's taking a little bit of a retreat. So he knows he wants to make the effort. He's taking a little time to himself right now because but he's feeling the magnetic pull. And once he it's it's overwhelming to him, he's going to make that move. Okay. So those of you divine masculines listening to this, like, you know, honor where you're at and realize that it's all good. So let's see what the divine masculine needs to let go of right now. I'm going to pull a surrender card and then we're going to pull an advice card for the divine masculine. Actually two advice cards. So what does the divine masculine need to let go of right now? What does he need to surrender? Surrender unhealthy relationships, which is about letting go of the relationships that don't serve you, of um, toxic people, relationships, thought patterns. It says you deserve to be treasured by others and be surrounded by positive people. 
So he needs to let go of the belief that this is going to be the same as everything else. Like he's afraid that I'm going to go on this route. I feel this connection and the same old, same old is going to happen. And spirit is saying like, no, th this is different. This relationship is different and you need to trust that it's different. And if there is anyone around you, divine masculine, that is not supportive, making you feel awful or on an, like just anybody around you that is not making you excited to support where you are at, it says to let them go. Put up those boundaries, limit them. Maybe it's family, friends, whatever it is. But if it's family, you just have to, you have to figure out a way to have a boundary. But they're saying your divine feminine is going to treasure you and be positive. And this is important for you to know. Okay. And I'm going to pull, um, two advice cards, one from the, from Archangel Michael for Divine Masculines, and then one for Divine Feminines. From the Divine Feminine, sorry. So, Michael, what's your best advice for the Divine Masculine right now? One card, please. And he's saying, you have created the situation, you have the power to change it, which means help guide me manifest according to divine will. So Michael's saying, like, you're in this, buddy, you're, you're like, no getting out of it now. You've already come this far and you know it in your heart. So time to just continue to move it through. Like, you're in the situation for a reason. There is um, all this divine support for you. So this is the ability to change the fears that you're feeling so that you can move, continue to move forward. And we're going to pull a card from um, the Divine Feminines too, from the Goddesses deck. Goddesses, what's your best message or advice for the Divine Masculine right now? And they're saying boundaries. Yep. So the advice here is to their boundaries is very important. Love yourself enough to say no to others demands on your time and energy. It's time for you right now, divine masculine. You have come into this and this is about letting go of these unhealthy relationships, putting up your boundaries and just saying, you know what, if you're not aligned with me, F off. I might love you. You might be related to me. You might be a friend of mine for 30 years. I don't know. But I'm going to put up a boundary because this is important. This is a step that's important because it drains your energy when you don't have the boundaries up. Okay. Um, it drains your energies and then you're, le you're less powerful. <clears throat> and then I'm going to, I just, I lied. I didn't lie, but I just got a, a message from spirit that it's not done yet. We're just going to pull one card. The whispers of love deck. Divine masculine. What is it that you want to say to your divine feminine right now? One card. Oh my gosh, he says, have patience. Love is patient and kind always. He wants you to have patience. It's here, it's happening, but continue to have patience. As hard as that is, Divine Feminine, have patience. No matter what's happening in the 3D world, the energy of patience will bring him closer to you faster. If he's feeling angst from you or frustration or resentment in any way, it's going to keep him from stepping into his power because he's going to be afraid and he's going to feel it and he's going to start feeling doubt. So Divine Feminine's watching this. He wants his Divine Feminine to have patience. That's what he wants to say. All right, guys, this is the reading. Um, by the way, I am also in the process of creating a Twin Flame uh, course that is going to be a series of videos that are going to support people that are on this Twin Flame journey, various topics that are from my readings as well as from my, my client work and my healing work that are going to help you navigate this journey because those of, many of you guys that find me are in this place of like, what the hell is this thing? This is totally not like me. I'm all of a sudden obsessed with this whole concept and it's because your heart is resonating with something in this truth about this journey. So I'm going to be, I have a series of videos I've outlined. I haven't recorded them yet, but it will be coming. So keep an eye out for that. And if you want a private reading, remember I'm giving away these, having some fun this month in May. 
uh, 60 minute readings or guidance sessions, live guidance sessions that are an hour or a healing session and you will be entered in to receive this if you live in the US. If not, I will make other arrangements for a gift to give you. So my friends, that is the reading for the Divine Masculine right now. Um, I want to send you all so much love. And if you want a private reading, information is down below. Until next time, in abundant love always. Bye.